Reliance Commercial Finance presents India SME Forum 2012. Find out the secrets of success in a series of seminars exclusively for smart entrepreneurs. Join India's biggest SME initiative to boost your business and celebrate SME achievers with India SME Hunger Award. So why is innovation the key to growth? These are our three points that we're going to cover extremely briefly because that is the only way you will have exceptional growth. And I'll show you what is the equation you need to look at. And we'll give you one small case study that uh, may help to inspire you. So why is it we say that only innovation will give you the kind of growth you need? Well, thanks to Ravinder and thanks to uh, Rajesh for talking about this issue of differentiation. When you innovate, you do something different. If you're the same as everybody else in your market, guess what? It's going to be very, very hard for you to grow. You have the same product, the same technology, the same marketing, the same service. The customer says, what's the difference? But when you innovate and you do something new, either in the way, in the type of product or service you offer, or in the type of operations you create that enable you to get lower prices by more efficiency or better technology, then you create a difference between you and your competition. The customer perceives that you can deliver at a lower price or you can deliver something that satisfies the customer's needs better than the competition. You are different. And then when you are different, you can charge a premium price and increase your margins, or you can charge less and still make money and expand your revenue by serving more customers. It ain't rocket science, as one of my Kiwi professors in business school used to say. So innovation is what's going to get you differentiation, and differentiation is what's going to get you growth. What is it that is actually, you, what is the equation you need to look at in order to know that your innovation is giving you the kind of growth you're going to need. It's quite simple. You all understand this equation, right? No. Okay, let me explain it to you. The V stands for value. And, when, and the B is for benefits, and the P is for price. Price is not just the money. It's things like uh, what Ravinder was saying. If you're an unknown entity, there's nervousness anxiety that comes with selecting your company. How will they service it? Will they be here in five years? Can I trust them? So your job as an entrepreneur is find an innovation that will increase this ratio. Reduce the price, either monetary or psychic, or increase the benefits. Do something that your consumer or your business customer will appreciate. In businesses, we all know what they appreciate, right? We can show it with one symbol, right? <laughs> the rupee sign. Okay. So you, your job is to create more value through innovation. That's the fundamental equation. And if, you've, if, if you're familiar with basic math, the customer will only buy if V is greater than 1 more benefit than what they have to give. Not complicated, but not easy. Simple, but not easy. Somewhat difficult to do, but that's your goal. If you want to know whether you're really benefiting the customer, and in B2B, we know they all want to save money, but there are other benefits, you need to ask one simple question. Here it is. So that's the key to your growth. It's differentiation through innovation that creates value. And just to show you, I'm going to give you a small, a small case just to show you that it's within reach for everybody in this room. We are, get our value creation innovation based on insight. We look at something that nobody else has recognized. And let me advise you, it's not complicated. And it's not vastly technical. The insights that build great businesses are more often than you can imagine exceedingly simple. They're not beyond anybody in this room, so I want to encourage you with that. Here, let me tell you about a small enterprise, and I mean a tiny enterprise. Two guys. Two guys. And they got three insights that anybody could have gotten, but they're the ones who got them. 
and they're listed on the screen. Basically, it had to do with internet search. There were internet search engines, but they realized that the value of the, the results was not great. They were getting a lot of junk sites. So they realized the way to increase the value was don't just count the content in the site, count who's linking. They said that will give you a better picture of what's really a valuable site. Is that complicated? No, it's simple. And the second one is, in terms of the pricing, instead of a flat rate, so many rupees or so many dollars per thousand impressions, they said, let's let the advertisers bid. That would be a more efficient way of setting the prices. They didn't invent auctions, but they said that would be useful in search. And the third one is, they realized that when internet users are searching for information, they would rather have it faster than slower. Is, is anybody in the room smart enough to figure that one out? No, you probably need a post-doctorate to figure out that people prefer fast to slow, right? No, it's simple. Everybody knows that. So these are three simple insights that two guys, this tiny business smaller than your company, two guys got those insights. And what did they, what did they build out of those insights? Google. So that's the, that's the message for you. Innovate. Base it on insights, create value, and even remember that Google and, and HP and IBM all started as small businesses. So lift your sights high, go, and succeed. Thank you.